One other thing you need to know about an exponential function is that your base always has to be positive. And the reason your base has to be positive is because we don't want to end up having non-real answers. So just keep that in mind that your base always has to be positive with an exponential function. It could be like this where it's larger than 1 or it could be uh, a fraction or decimal in between 0 and 1. But it always has to be positive. This example right here, uh, this, this formula right here shows the average amount spent, f of x, in dollars at a shopping mall after x hours. And we're trying to figure out what is the average amount spent to the nearest dollar after four hours. So it should make sense that when you're talking about a shopping mall, you know, when it first opens, you're not going to have a bunch of people there, uh, you know, whatever time, 8, 10 o'clock in the morning. But uh, as the time progresses, more and more sales are going to occur. So this can be modeled by an exponential function. So all we're going to do in a problem like this is go ahead and plug in 4 for x. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our calculator. So depending on what models you have, so I'm going to type in 1.56. And this is the button we can use to use our exponent. And we're going to use an exponent of 4. Okay, when I hit enter, that's what 1.56 to the fourth power is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that by 42.2. So you can see that we will get f of 4. Oops, I lost my calculator. To be 400, no, 249.9. And again, based on your problem, as uh, as read in the problem, this is the dollar spent in the shopping mall after X hours. So you can see, uh, yeah, nice little exponential growth. 